Hey guys, it's senior editor Raymond Siegel from Media Cows. I'm going to be doing a video review of Little Big Planet's Sackboy's Prehistoric Moves. It's a PlayStation Network title. It'll run you ten bucks. Not sure if it's worth that price, however. The game, while good, you will get a lot of enjoyment out of the time that you're spending with it. It's just that the content here isn't what you'd expect from a Little Big Planet title. There's not a whole lot there other than what's presented to you right at the beginning. There's very little customization for Sackboy. Uh, any DLC that you've previously downloaded for Little Big Planet is not going to show up at all. There's only a few basic skins, a few basic items to clothe yourself. There's no stickers, so you can't customize him more so to that extent. You can't slap things on walls and whatnot like that. Uh, there's no user levels, so you're not going to be making any levels with the move controller. You're not going to be playing any levels that other people have made, not even old levels. There's no online functionality whatsoever. Uh, there, you have to be playing the game with at least two people. There's zero single player unless you can somehow wield a dual, uh, unless you can wield a dual shock and a move controller at the same time, which, trust me, doesn't work out so well. I've tried it. So, that's a disappointment for the game, that you have to play multiplayer. There's no online multiplayer. Like I said, there's no online whatsoever. Uh, it's just a big disappointment, because when you play Little Big Planet, you expect something like that. You expect a robust online feature set. You expect to play user-generated levels. It's not here. What is here is a very interesting take on what Sony's trying to do with the PlayStation Move and implementing it into Little Big Planet. You basically use the Move controller as a cursor to affect the levels itself, while another player runs around in the world trying to get to the end of each level. The Move controller works well. It lets, I mean, if you're trying to hit a certain object in there, you're going to hit it, you're going to be able to control it. You hold down objects with the Move button, you can then use them to cover Sackboy or, you know, raise or lower platforms, things like that. But that's basically all you're doing with the Move controller. You're not doing much else. Uh, if you're playing as Sackboy, you're playing Little Big Planet, but you're reliant on the other player who is using the Move controller to do these things for you. So, well, the gameplay is fun. It still feels like Little Big Planet. You're still going to be jumping over things, collecting prize bubbles, things like that. Which is another thing I should mention real quick. Prize bubbles, empty. There's no prizes in them. So, throwing that out there. There's no real reason to collect these giant prize bubbles other than the challenge of getting them. Um, but that's really all there is to it. It's just more Little Big Planet levels, so personally... I felt like this could have just been more downloadable content for the original Little Big Planet. Uh, that being said, this will be packaged in with Little Big Planet 2. So you're going to be ex be able to experience this whole thing for the $60 price tag in addition to Little Big Planet 2 in its entirety. I think you should wait for that. Uh, like I was saying before, there's just not a lot of content here where there should be a lot of content. And it is really disappointing. Um, but getting away from the negative side, there's a lot of good things to say for this game. You know, it still looks great. The graphics, you know, they're pretty much the same from Little Big Planet. But the environments look great. There's new characters, there's new enemies, that type of thing. And, you know, when you, when you are getting to the end of a level and all of a sudden you're swallowed by a gigantic Tyrannosaurus Rex, it's cool. And, you know, you get a bunch of, you get a couple of friends over and you're having a good time for a couple of hours, but it's short as well. Uh, we beat this game probably like three times in the manner of an hour, maybe. So, and that's including all the side levels, which aren't many. There's, there's only six or seven full main levels in this title. It's just not a lot of bang for your buck. Um, and it should be. You, you expect that from Little Big Planet. And this doesn't really deliver. 
if you've played Little Big Planet before, you know how it feels. You know that Sack Boy feels floaty when he jumps. You know that he grabs things and he likes to smack people in the face. That's all fine. Uh, that hasn't been changed. The sound is pretty much the same. You know, uh, characters speak to you in gibberish while you read the text bubbles. Um, things like that. It feels like Little Big Planet, just with the move controller being added in as extra. So, overall, I would say wait, get Little Big Planet 2, which I hope is going to be a phenomenal title. Don't get me wrong, I love the Little Big Planet series. I just don't think that this, as a $10 title, works. Maybe 5 bucks would have been more appropriate for this, uh, but as is, I've got to say, it's a good game. We're giving it a 7 out of 10, so it's up to you, but I say wait and see.